with the Wolfman. We go to Sweden, Canada, and Croatia. We talk to Emily Hamburg, Lillian Sim, Red Charlotte, and Boris Popovich. From the reenactment of an historical ceremony to a place where history is always being repeated. Here at a famous North London firm of geographers, 60,000 globes of the world are made every year. Emily will talk about the way she sees the invasion. It's, a, it's an exciting time. Uh, because all this political talk is making me think that uh, maybe, I mean, maybe Russia invades. In my imagination, there's got to be some uh, pretty fucking far out Russian punk going on. In England, in that poor times, there was uh, a lot of punk coming there. Whether uh, Putin is coming or not, which obviously is. It would be very cool to see some uh, Russian art, uh, Russian, Russian art, art. Uh, <laughs> completely uh, away from the uh, politics. How the real world began has always been a fascinating study, but there's a set method of world making at these workshops, a complicated craft dating back to 1492 when the first known globe was made. Round a solid ball of wood is built up a hollow shell of stiff paper, which is then coated with plaster. I'd like to welcome the, the Russian punks and the, uh, the Russian arts that we don't see a lot of. We see the face of uh, Putin. The experimental kind of shit that's going on around there. It would be a, a very nice, uh, very nice break. Oh, this town, it kills you when you're young. Oh, this town. Uh, so I'd like to say, kill you uh, Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. Oh, 
아, 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 아,
that's about it in this episode. Keep it up with the Wolfman.